The animals are coming one by one. The old cow chewing on a caraway bun. The animals are coming two by two. The elephant and the kangaroo. The animals are coming three by three. The bear and the bug and the bumblebee. The animals are coming four by four. The old hippopotamus stuck in the door. The animals are coming five by five. The animals get all right. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the land. The animals are coming six by six. The hyena laughing at the monkey's tricks. The animals are coming seven by seven. The old fat pig says. Shut that gate! The animals are coming nine by nine. No one hold it out. Cut that line. The animals are coming ten by ten. The old heart blew its whistle then. And nobody knew where they were at. Till the old heart bumped on air a rat. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah to the land. Hallelujah!
down the road who has a dog, but I think his name is Bingo. Oh, really? How do you spell that? Is that R O B E R? No! No! B I N G O! B I N G O! B I N G O! That spells Bingo, not Rover! Oh, sorry.
glory lies. A light still breaks behind the cloud that veils thee from the eyes. And I'll sing hallelujah, and you'll sing hallelujah, and we'll sing hallelujah when we arrive at home. Lift up our hearts, lift up our minds, and let thy grace begin. That while we live on earth below, our treasures be in heaven. And I'll sing hallelujah, and you'll sing hallelujah, and we'll all sing hallelujah when we arrive at home. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And with his wounds, and with his wounds, and with his wounds we are healed. He was despised, he was rejected, one from whom men hide their faces. Man of sorrows with grief acquainted, we esteemed him not. All we like sheep have gone astray, each of us turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him all of our sin. Surely he took up all of our suffering, surely he carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him afflicted, smitten, stricken by God. transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And with his wounds, and with his wounds, And with his wounds we are healed.
as us the man who washed our feet, who bore our suffering. He came a curse to bring salvation's plan. Jesus is Lord, the tomb is gloriously empty. Not even death could crush his king of love.
For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. We know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is.
Thank you for being such a good audience tonight. We appreciate you being here and just interacting with us tonight. We don't want to have all the fun ourselves, so we'd like you to participate with us on this final number. We are eagerly anticipating being in the heavenly kingdom one day. And we're going to have a little bit of a rehearsal for that tonight. We're going to sing the well-known hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns, and ask you to join with us. The choir is going to sing a whole lot of alleluias between the verses, but on the verses, we want you to sing with us. The first verse is going to be the ladies. The second verse is going to be the men. And then on the third and fourth verses, everybody can sing. Would you stand with us, please?
I trust that you have registered those notes and those words from the bottom of your heart. I want to say that tonight, as you think of this theme, peaceable kingdom. Would you say that with me? Peaceable kingdom. The scriptures say that we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you've never come to that realization that you need Jesus as your Savior, I promise you that peace will never be yours. And that kingdom that we have guaranteed coming, as our Lord has promised, is only going to be peaceable if you've made peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so as you've gathered with us tonight, it's a privilege to have you share these moments of joy and enjoyment but I trust they'll also be a reminder as to your own personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I trust you can say without question, I have peace with God through my Lord Jesus Christ. It's a privilege to share the evening. I'm Dan Anderson. It's my joy to serve as president here and to have these folk that bless my lives all the time. And thank you for coming and blessing our campus this evening with your presence. I know that some of you, this is a regular habit, and we're glad you have good habits. <laughs> and for some of you, this is your first occasion, so we invite you to develop a habit. And come regularly, we have these occasions that we share with our community because we love being here, but we also love what we're doing, and we love sharing what we do. Uh, I want to say that it's a particular joy to have uh, those that come tonight as parents and grandparents. This has been a special day on our campus to honor them. If you're one of those guest grandparents or parents, just wave right now to this bunch. It's just to bless you tonight, and we're thankful. And would you thank them for coming? Gang, this is your chance to say thank you. Uh, that's not to exclude the rest of you. It's just a matter that we've enjoyed having them on our campus. And we've had a very special group of young people here today. We reference this as our college preview, and so these young people have come to us along with parents, and that particular collection also is probably a little more dispersed, but if you're part of that collection, previewers and parents or sponsors, would you just wave for a moment? We're delighted that you're here, and so wave as you're part of that gang, and, and all of you thank them for being here, would you? Just a round of applause. We're not afraid to say here at Appalachian that our world needs Jesus. And young people that we're training here have that passion, and we're seeking to develop that passion to go into all the world and to preach the gospel and to prepare hearts to be a part of that wonderful promised kingdom that we have. I'm thankful for all the hard work that's gone in tonight. Uh, Mr. Jeremy Yowell is the chair of our music department, has led the team in preparation, music faculty and students and staff and children and I know that it's a joy for us to share them all together. Uh, would you just give one collective applause for all of that crowd and all that they do? Thank you. <laughs> Be our privilege to present this again tomorrow night. So if you're from the community or if you want to return, it's certainly a welcome privilege. But uh, share the news. And we look forward to having this opportunity again tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock and would welcome your joining us or sharing that with others to join. We want to close this evening with the ultimate concern, and that is to give glory to God. And so let's bow in prayer. And as we pray, uh, during the time of my prayer, we will just have students that will be quietly making their way into the audience so they can greet you. But uh, I invite you to join me as I lead in prayer. Let's pray. Father, we rejoice in the privilege that it is to have a Savior and in this season, as we approach even the Easter message and recognizing that you were willing to come and to face the agonies and the, and, the, and, the, and the requirements of payment for our sin, you were not a victim, you were not a martyr, you were not a, just a good example, you were our substitute. You were the Savior that we needed to make fellowship with God, to make peace with God. And Lord, I pray that there will not be a single person in this audience tonight who leaves this place without that certainty that they have made peace with you. We thank you for the privilege to share the evening, the joy that we can be reminded of, even the fun occasions and the wonderful privilege. We know that one day you will have a kingdom where we will enjoy the, the peace of all of your kingdom. And we ask that you will help us in the meantime to live faithfully for you, fervently serving, 
seeking to share the gospel, seeking to prepare people to face you. And Lord, we ask for your blessing and help to do that. Thank you for our friends and those who've gathered with us tonight for this occasion, for all the preparation and the, and the work of students and staff together. And we ask that this might be an evening that truly brings pleasure to your heart. We thank you and ask your blessing as we move to our specific and special places. May we not simply dismiss that which we've been challenged with, but may we live it wherever we go. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. You are dismissed.